Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is Season 6, Feed the Beast, and this is Part 94. And I know I said I was going to be dealing with some peat um, in this video, but I'm going to actually wait. Uh, put that on hold for now because I have some other things I want to do first. Uh, first of all, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you a couple of things I did uh, between videos. Number one is I cleaned out my inventory, as you can see. Uh, I set up the second quarry. Um, again, it's like right next to where it was before. You know, very simple stuff. Um, I touched up down here a little bit. Try and make this look a little bit nicer. I was... Um, I was actually playing this on the uh, on the stream yesterday, you know, just doing some maintenance stuff, you know, stuff I wouldn't do on video anyway. And a couple of my friends were like, "Yeah, this place like is a little messed up looking." So, you know, I put a bunch of covers on here and tried to touch it up a little bit. The only thing left that I really don't like and they don't like either is this tech is the glass right here isn't isn't uh, isn't joining, you know. But there's not much I could do about that. I want to see the stuff flowing through the tubes. So, you know, next time I do this, I'll probably. Uh, make these... No, I don't even want to do that. I like the sorting machine there. I don't know what I will do next time, but I'll try not to deal with these kind of this kind of glass because it does look a little weird. Um, Alright, so this one doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's not getting power. You know what? I'll bet when I put some of these things over here, I cut the power. Oh, I probably knocked up the power thing by accident. Okay. Uh, I do have some blue alloy. When I put that cover on... it. I must have knocked up the power by mistake. Uh, oh, it doesn't look connected. I must have, did I knock up two? Wow, I did knock up two. There we go. There we go, now we're going. All right, so let's see if we can get this uh, cover on the proper way and not break stuff. Nope, it broke again. Uh, wait, no it didn't. What the hell? Why is it losing power? It's kind of weird. I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Let me see what I can find out. Okay, it's still good. Well, it's losing power now. Oh, I guess that's normal. Alright, so yeah, that'll work. Oh, see, it broke it. But it's okay now. Ugh. Covers are cool, but they're a little bit difficult to work with. Uh, they don't always go where you want them to. Alright, that looks pretty good now. So that's good we figured that out. Because uh, now it'll be able to keep up with everything properly. Alright, so let me show you the other the other thing I changed between videos. And this is, uh, this is a pretty sweet change right here. Let me get on over to the power plant. I, um... I now have both, well, I have the second, the first boiler obviously was running at full power, but I now have the second boiler all heated up and running at full power, and it's working completely off wood, um, and it's actually pretty, like, efficient. Um, so if you look down here, I've got him bringing over wood, uh, and we've got almost 600 stacks of wood. I mean, like, this is, one of these things of wood might be able to run two of these boilers. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, the wood is really good. <laughs> that rhymes. Uh, it actually is going to be a problem because this is going to fill up eventually. Um, I'll keep an eye on it and we'll, you know, we'll deal with it. Uh, I'd rather fill up than... Uh, actually, if it fills up... Basically, if this thing fills up, then this thing will fill up, then this thing will fill up, then this thing will fill up. So actually, it doesn't even matter if it fills up. Uh, I could just deal with that later on. Not a big deal. So now what we're going to do is... We're going to grab our trusty axe, put these wires away. I'm going to break these up, and we are going to put down the, whatchamacallit thing here. We do need to break out this wall some more. Uh, there's not enough room down here, because I want room for a third boiler, possibly a fourth. I'm going to have just as many boilers as I need. Uh, now, in order to clear out that wall, we are going to make a new toy called a mining laser. I don't think I've made it on here yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, mining laser. There it is. We go ahead and make ourselves a mining laser. So let's get back to. I'm gonna get back to the base, and I'm gonna uh, gather everything I need. And well, actually, you know what? <clears throat> You've never seen me make a mining laser. Let me not cut this out. Let me uh, show you this. And the trip back will just be a second. So the mining laser is really cool. Um, it's like the mining turtles were awesome. But one second. 
you know, still sneezing here and there, but um, it's actually nice to be able to sneeze now because when you could when you can't sneeze, it really hurts your your sinuses. But anyway, uh, mining laser is kind of like the mining turtle, like ten times. Actually, it's not really like a mining turtle at all. Um, it's hard to explain. Let me just uh, let me just go ahead and make it. Um, actually, uh, I've got an idea. Let me uh, let me work on an idea here. Uh, Change your compressor. All right, give me. Uh, hold on. Here we go. I got. I'm thinking this right off the cuff, uh, and we're gonna see how this is gonna work. Um, so what we're gonna need here for the mining laser is we're gonna need a lot of this uh, advanced alloy, and that is made by uh, bronze. We're gonna need bronze. Bronze is made. Oh, for bronze we need. Can we make bronze without the dust? I, I know I always have this problem. Let me, uh, give me one sec. I'm going to try and figure out what I'll do. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you actually don't need the dusts for the bronze ingots. Um, I thought you did, but you don't. You can actually do it with just the ingots. That makes it a lot easier. So, in my next factory, okay, I've been thinking about this. My next factory is going to be Applied Energistics Setup. And the Applied Energistics Setup, from what I understand it, and there's probably a lot of stuff I don't understand about it, but from what I understand about Applied Energistics is you are going to have... Um, a bunch of uh, disk drives that are going to hold all your, your items. Basically, the items get stored onto disk drives, and you hold them all on disk drives. Very small and compact, okay? And I'm going to need a certain amount of rooms for... For any of you guys who watched my last Let's Play, uh, Season 5, I had... It's kind of like... Um, uh, applied Energistics is a lot like uh, Logistics Pipes. Uh, applied Energistics, sorry. Uh, is, a lot, is a lot like Logistics Pipes. And on my last server, I had a factory, and I had different rooms for different parts of the build and what they were going to do. Um, basically, the the crafting part of Applied Energistics is a multi-block structure. That's going to be its own room. Then I'm going to have a second room that's going to be a control room, and that's going to be where I'm basically going to keep my hard drives there and um, the control panels and stuff like that. Uh, maybe some other things. I'm not too sure. We'll get into that later. Then another room is going to be the processing room. That's going to be where I'm going to put all my uh, all my uh, pulverizers and you know basically the setup down here. The uh, the the processing room will have like all this stuff and this stuff in there um you know and i'm gonna build a huge factory over there and i was debating on the multiplayer server i play on now i've got a multiplayer uh series going up called uh bro bro beast um it's season 11 it's my 11th uh multiplayer series and i was talking to darrenis the guy who like play i play on the server with and i was thinking about making some automated uh building building some automated um, contraptions that will automatically make stuff like advanced alloy or carbon plate. And I kind of decided against it, but now I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of just, I'm thinking maybe I will. And I have to do some research into it. I have to find out some things, but I'm going to build one right now, which is going to be kind of a ghetto uh, version. And uh, it's going to be kind of like just to give you a taste of what I'm thinking about for, you know, future builds. Uh, so I've rambled on enough. Let me grab my fabricators. As you saw over at my power supply place, to turn unprocessed wood into wood slabs just takes a couple of these fabricators. And I could probably do the same thing with this stuff. I just don't know where I'm gonna build it. Uh, it could kind of go anywhere. It's it's not it's not a permanent thing. It's gonna it's kind of like just like a rough draft of how I'm gonna do stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's um. Probably not enough room here, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Let's break some of this stuff up. And for now, I'll just dump it all in here just to get it out of the way. Okay. So the first part of the advanced alloys is going to be um, the bronze ingots. And like I said, bronze... Oh, how did I do that? Bronze ingots. One second. There we go. Copper and tin. And let's just go ahead and set that up just to make sure it works. Because those copper and tins are different IDs than the ones I normally use. So let's just go ahead and put that together and see if that's going to work. And yes, it is. It's going to make bronze. Uh, that's not the kind of bronze I have stored. So I'm probably going to have to take... Where's my bronze? Oh, I actually don't have bronze stored. Basically, if you make... 
if you make a bronze ingot in this way, it's got a different ID tag at the end. 13, uh, 13379. The bronze I have set up, I made with a different crafting recipe with the dusts. So that's going to have, that should have a different ID. Let's see. Oh, no, it has the same ID. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. All right, so that's going to make things a lot easier. Um, let's think of how we're going to do this. We need a... It starts with a fabricator, actually. It really does. So put the... Let's break these up. I don't want this stuff interfering. All right, don't worry about that. All right, so let's put some... Let's build the floor back. I don't... I don't Feel a little tired of uh, leaving stuff undone, you know. So let's build the floor back up. All right. Okay. So we'll put that there, and that's going to be the. This is going to be the first part of the setup, and the recipe is going to be like so. There you go. First part of the setup. Now I'm going to leave this on. <clears throat> So if I put stuff in there, it's going to automatically craft it. I just have to be a little careful. I can't just throw a ton of stuff in there if I don't need the bronze that it's going to be producing. But it makes it a little quicker for when I'm doing the setup. All right, so now with the bronze, uh, let's go ahead and make some bronze. Uh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I put the whole stack in there somehow. Oh, well, whatever. All right, so there's the bronze. Okay. Now we're going to take some bronze out here, and we're going to set up the the recipe for the mixed metal ingot, which is going to be refined iron, bronze, and tin. Refined iron, bronze, and tin. And we should have some tin left over. Tin goes on the bottom. I'm not sure if it has to go on the bottom, but I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then refined iron. Uh, where's my refined iron? Ooh. Do not have a lot of refined iron. Throw some more iron in the uh, in the setup in a minute. Alright, so we got the refined iron here. So there you go. Now that's the setup. So we show the refined iron in there. And the tin. And there you go. Now... Mm, okay, I probably should have set this up somewhere else. Yeah, I screwed this up. Let's uh, let's pick these up and set them up over here, because uh, the the mixed metal ingot needs to go in the compressor. So the compressor needs to be the final step of the setup. Um, I'd also maybe want a way to take the stuff out of the compressor. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like a rough draft of how I'm going to build this in the factory. So um, well, let's just build this for now. I wonder if I could build it like this. Not sure if this will work. Let's give it a try. All right, we need uh, more tin and copper. We gotta be careful how much bronze we make, because I don't want to make more like than I really need. Copper, tin. All right. Actually, that's not gonna go directly in there, is it? Shit. It's not gonna go in there. Um, how do I get it to go in there? Okay, we're going to need an, autor an autortic gate, or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I always have trouble saying that thing. Let's grab a wooden uh, pipe and one of the gates. Hopefully we have one laying around. If not, I'll just take that one. Okay, I do. So, compressor. Hey, can you put this in uh, one of the um, other machines? No, it's got to be a compressor. Damn it. That's what I like about the uh, thermal expansion machines. They'll just output stuff. It's so much easier than, you know, having to use pipes and stuff. Um, we're probably going to have to take this out by hand. No, I really don't want to take it out by hand. Um, shit. I'm trying to think of how I want to take this out. I'll be right back. Let me figure this out. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the macerator. Like so. Uh, like I said, in my other factory setup, this stuff's going to be in a much bigger room. That When I first built this room, this was a very functional room of me just manually putting stuff in and taking it out. It was very, like, just manual. So uh, in my factory, it's going to be a lot more automated. So when I build the rooms, I'm going to build them a lot bigger. So anyway, what we'll do is we will have... 
Let's have the wooden pipe come out like this. And shoot, we need some stone pipes. Man, I should eat. Do I have any food on me? Whatever. Come on, man. Where's all my food? I think it's back at the other base or something. I dumped it somewhere. Got some right here. That'll work for now. <coughs> okay. Uh, so let's grab some stone pipes. Put this up there. Okay. Put this right here. And then we will just have a chest, just because I'm, I'm hang, holding on to a gold chest. And there we go. Pretty nice setup. Um, it's kind of not... It's kind of open and exposed. We'll deal with that later. All right, so... Oh, that's not going to work, because we, we need a pipe coming in from the top. Um, all right, you know what? Let's just do this. Shit, I'm gonna need another wooden pipe. See, the thing is, the wooden pipes are the easiest way to get stuff out and out of stuff. Like the Artortic... Oh, Jesus, I'm going to need an iron pipe. Uh, because of the Artortic gates, um, you, you don't need like a redstone signal or anything. If you take stuff out using red power, you need the, the, the timer. And, you know, overuse of the timer causes lag. I mean, any use of the timer really causes lag. So you want to avoid it as much as possible. And uh, there we go. All right, let's uh, grab my wrench my crescent hammer and have this going the right way okay and then we will put the machines on top as long as I could reach them actually I don't have to put them both on top let me uh, let me see what I can figure out here okay that'll work oh no that's not gonna work uh, because we need a oh, Jesus So, yeah, that'll work. It kind of looks weird, but meh, what are you gonna do? Like I said, this is just a um, I need another auto to gate. This is just a uh, rough rough idea of what I'm gonna be doing in the new uh, the new factory when I build it, which is gonna be, I mean, I guess pretty soon because I really want to get into applied energetics and I need that I need that factory for that to happen. Okay. All right. So the first one's going to be tin and copper. Okay. And the second one is going to be bronze in the middle, refined iron on top, and tin on the bottom. And this is going to redstone signal off, energy pulse. Oh wow, look at that stuff you could do. <laughs> huh. Redstone signal off, energy pulse. And that should be just about it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, actually, that's pulling out of the side. I think it has to pull out of the bottom, doesn't it? No, it pulls out of the side because that's the side. Um, okay, uh, let's give this a try. Tin and copper. Refined iron, tin. And it's not pulling it out. It can't pull it out of the side? I've never pulled stuff out of the fabricators before. Uh, oh, you know what? It's backwards, isn't it? There we go. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Now we just got to make sure that cooks. And if it does, we now have a little automated setup here. And for a one, two, three, three by three area, you know, that's that's a pretty compact area to, you know, automatically make your stuff wiser. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. All right. Now, when that's done, it should pull it out, and it should go in here. And if it does, that's not going to open. Damn it. You know what? I've got even a better way for this. Okay, so let's uh, 
get that wooden pipe back. Where'd it go? There. Put the chest right there. Even easier. And when the redstone signals off, energy pulse. That's it. Now we just have to put stuff, we just have to feed stuff into here. And uh, that's it. Um, actually, we could feed every, well, no, we can't feed everything into here because this one needs tin and refined iron. So put some refined iron in there. Um, oh, it's pulling out the refined iron. God damn it. That's a problem. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, my uh, timer just went off, so that's going to be in this video. I'll try and figure out a way to, you know, deal with this. I'm not quite sure how I can make this work. I, I could always set up a filter and just look for a certain item, or I could use another item that might just work. You know what? Let me look into that in between videos, and it'll be a surprise and something for you guys to look forward for next video. So that's going to be a Fart 94, and I'll see you next time for 95. Till then, take it easy.